question 13. Here are some shapes on a one centimeter grid. A, B, C, D and E. What we've got to do is find out what the perimeter of shape A is. And later on we're going to have to find a shape with the smallest area. So this question is all about understanding the difference between perimeter and area. So I've already written a few notes at the side here. You've got to remember that perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. Whereas area is the amount of space inside the shape. Okay, so the first part of the question is what is the perimeter of shape A? So all we got to do is basically start counting around the outside of shape A. So I normally mark each line with a, a little dash. So if we start at the top here, it doesn't matter where we start, I'm just going to start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. So it looks like that the perimeter is going to be 14 around the outside. Notice that I've totally ignored the lines on the inside of the shape because as I've already said here, perimeter is not on the inside, it's on the outside of the shape. So perimeter of shape A, 14 centimeters. Let's just grab a different color. Now we need to write the letter of the shape that's got the smallest area. So area is the amount of space on the inside of the shape. So let's count. So shape A, we've got one square, two, three, four, five, six. So the area of shape A looks like it's six. Shape B, C and D are going to be a bit tricky. So let's do the easy ones first. So shape E is one, two, three, four, five, six. So shape E is also six. Now let's try shape C. So let's count the whole squares first. So we've got one whole square, two whole squares. Now we need to put halves of squares together to make whole squares. So these two halves make a third square. These two make a fourth square. And these two make a fifth square. So Shape C looks like it's five whole squares. Shape B, we've got one whole square, two whole squares, three, four. Now these two bits, which make like a triangle, if you took those off and put it over here to fit with this little triangle, you would have an extra two squares together. So we've got one, two, three, four whole squares, and this bit over here makes five, six. So B looks like it has also got an area of six. So, so far, we've got three shapes on six and one shape on five. Let's have a look at D. So we've got whole square first, one, two, three. These two bits are two halves of squares, so they join together to make a fourth square and we've got a similar thing with these this bit here this is a triangle this is a triangle if you rotate that bit round it would fit there to make two more squares so we've got five six so we've got one two three those two make four and this bit joined over here makes five six so that one's also six so let's have a double check of what we were asked to do. Write the letter of the shape that's got the smallest area. So we've got six, 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 and the smallest one is five. And so that is shape C. So C is the letter that I need to write in there. And that's it. That's the question done. So if we just have a quick look back, Remember your notes for perimeter and area. Perimeter is distance around the outside. Mark it with each little line with a dash. And area is the amount of space inside. You can actually count whole squares inside.